In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Welcome. It is good and it is right that we should mark the great feast of Pentecost with prayer and rejoicing in word and in song. We're going to reflect with our young people on the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit and draw on the music of the Teze community, asking the Lord to strengthen those gifts within us and in our parish community. Jesus said to his apostles, I shall ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. Our opening piece is O Christe Domine Jesu. O Christ Lord Jesus. From the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the Apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting, and something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven, and at this sound they all assembled, each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speak in a Galileans. How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia. Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya around Cyrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews, proselytes alike, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
At baptism, we receive seven special gifts from the Holy Spirit. These gifts are freely given to us to help us live as followers of Jesus and to build up the body of Christ, the church. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are sealed and strengthened within us at confirmation. These seven gifts help us to respond to the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, to make good choices and to serve God and others. Wisdom. The gift of wisdom helps us to avoid things that could lead us away from God. Blessed be spirit of wisdom. Help me seek God, make him the centre of my life, and order my life to him, so that love and harmony may reign in my soul. Understanding helps us to be tolerant and sympathetic of others. It helps us sense when someone someone is hurting or in need of compassion. Blessed spirit of understanding, enlighten my mind that I may know and love the truths of faith and make them truly my own. Right judgment helps us to make choices to live as a faithful follower of Jesus. Blessed Spirit of Counsel, enlighten and guide me in all my ways, that I may always know and do your holy will. Make me prudent and courageous. helps us to overcome any obstacles that will keep us from practicing our faith. Blessed spirit of fortitude, uphold my soul in every time of trouble or adversity. Make me loyal and confident.
of knowledge enables us to choose the right path that will lead us to God. Blessed Spirit of knowledge, help me to know good from evil. Teach me to do what is right in the sight of God. Give me clear vision and firmness in decision. The gift of piety or reverence inspires us to joyfully want to serve God and others. Others, blessed spirit of piety, possess my heart, incline it to a true faith in you, to a holy love of you, my God, that with my whole soul I may seek you, who are my father, and find you my best, my truest joy. encourages us to be in awe of God and it moves us so to love God that we do not want to offend him by our words or actions. Blessed spirit of holy fear penetrate my inmost heart that I may I may ever be mindful of your presence to to make make me fly from sin and give me in intense reverence for God and for my fellow men who are made in God's image. Thank you. 
We earnestly pray, Almighty God, that through the grace of your Holy Spirit, we may be freed from all temptation and receive forgiveness for our sins through Christ our Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be recreated and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, you have taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and always to rejoice in his comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Presence by Maria Mackey. I am the silent mountain, the light of singing stream, the stairway of angels, the God of Jacob's dream. I am the sand of the desert, the wind that sweeps the plain, the cloud that swirls the hilltop, the sound of falling rain. I am the wind that flutters, the song of patient stone. I am the sky that blushes after the sun has gone. I am the stars of the morning, the stones on the riverbed, the sigh of reeds at sunset, the petals that roses shed. I am the pines and the mosses and the roots on the forest floor. I am the eye of the eagle. I am the speed of the hare. I am the force of the fountain, the feather soft of the snow. I am the dance of the wavelets, the rhythm, the ebb and the flow. I am the air that enfolds you. Touch the green bough, I am there. The quiet of the earth that upholds you. I am your God. I am near.
Pentecost prayer. Loving God, open our hearts so that we may feel the breath and play of your spirit. Unclench our hands so that we may reach out to one another and touch and be healed. Open our lips that we may drink in the delight and wonder of life. Unclog our ears to hear your agony in our humanity. Open our eyes that we may see Christ in friend and stranger. Breathe your spirit into us and touch our lives with the life of Christ. Amen. And may God, the Father of lights, who is pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final piece is Jubilati Deo, Omnis Terra, Servite Domino in Laetitia. Alleluia. From Psalm 99. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Alleluia.
soul, arise and bless the Lord God. Say to him, my God, how great you are. You are clothed with majesty and splendor. And light is the garment you wear. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, that the face of the earth be renewed. You have built your palace on the waters. Like the wind, the angels do your word. You have set the earth on its foundations, so firm to be shaken no more. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, that the face of the earth be renewed. All your creatures look to you for comfort, from your open hand they have their fill. You send forth your spirit and revive them. The face of the earth you renew. Send forth your spirit, O oh Lord, that the face of the earth be renewed. While I live, I sing the Lord God's praises. I will thank the author of these marvels. Praise to God, the Father, Son, and Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, that the faith